This guy is so funny. I, I haven't seen him, but how long has it been, Nick? God, it's been like 10 years, eh? More, More than that, probably. It's 10 years. Anyway, he took a hiatus. He's back to a comedy. His family is here. Let's welcome <laughs> Nick Corman Cosentino! I don't know if I could still do how about, this. Uh, how about a hand for everybody in the show so far? Yeah. 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 So I, I think, uh, you know what, I was thinking, where would a really bad driver be? <laughs> <laughs> and I was thinking, New York, nah, Washington, nah, Boston, nah. The Middle East. <laughs> they have to be really bad over there. Man, can you... Do you like be driving on the expressway in Beirut? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, okay, see? It's been 15 years. <laughs> so, but the, the, the point is that on this side of the country, this side of the world, we can, we have religious nuts on this side of the world, but on that side of the world, they can convince people to fill the car with dynamite and drive into things. I mean, none of them ever said to their leaders, a Momar. You ever hear the expression, if you want something done right, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> How do they do that? How do they convince a young guy to fill his car with dynamite? Anybody? It's like, uh, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here. I was talking to Allah, <laughs> and he told me to tell you to fill your car with a bomb and drive into that building. Someone must be saying, you sure he mentioned me by name? <laughs> you heard him say, Mahmed. <laughs> there must be two, three mock meds on my block. I get all the mail. <laughs> I'm mock med, El Mock Med. There's Sharid El Mock Med. And there is Mohammed El Mock Med. Which Mock Med? <laughs> I want to be fair. <laughs> anyway, I uh, jumping from there uh, because I have five minutes. We don't have a lot of time for segues to Orlando, uh, Florida. <laughs> I was visiting my uh, my uh, son and his uh, two sons uh, not too long ago, and uh, <clears throat> I noticed my son works for Disney, so everything is Disney with with him and his wife and his kids. Everything's Disney, and they are always begging me to come down there. First of all, a Italians don't move to Florida. <laughs> we moved to Arizona, but anyway, uh, so but. Everything's Disney there in Orlando. Everything. And if I wanted to be around Disney like things, I I really will vote for Mitt Romney. But that's <laughs> so I'm I'm uh, I gotta when you're in Orlando and, and your son works for Disney, you have to go to Disney like if you're there for four days, like 28 times. It's <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm always looking for this ride that's the best ride to be on, you know, and that you can get on right away and you can have fun. And I thought I found it because there was no line. You know lines at Disney World where you're standing in line and you're like walking in that bank maze thing and the sun is kicking down on you and you're getting sunburned in parts of your body you didn't know you could get sunburned and like the part in your hair. You know, so you're waiting in this line, and finally I found a ride that I got on right away. Boom! Right away, and it happens to be a very pretty ride. The longest ride at Disney World. It's like 17 or 19 minutes, some ridiculous time. And it's a very pretty ride, but it's a brainwashing ride because they put this little song with it. Now, you probably know the song before I even say it. Because 20 years from now, you'll be driving on the street, and it'll pop into your head for no reason at all. It's a small world, that's a it's, And it goes on and on and on. And so I'm on this ride now. If you've never been on this ride, I'm going to explain it to you. It's a very pretty ride. They put you in a boat like 26 other people. And you go on this waterway of countries, and they have like 100,000 little puppet kids singing that song to you. It's a small world. Now, the first minute, you don't realize what's going to happen to you. So you're friendly with a person sitting next to you in the boat. Hi, where are you from? Iowa? I love Iowa. Nobody likes Iowa. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you're friendly with them, you're singing, hey, it's a small world. Now five minutes later, you realize they have not shut off the music and you're going, uh, they're going to stop the music pretty soon, right? Because I think I know all the words. Now eight, nine, ten minutes, like, shut the fuck up! <laughs> 
I don't give it to, I don't care if it's a decent, and then you go into like foreign countries and they're singing that foreign languages. Yaka waka yaka waka yaka waka. I know what you're singing. Shut up. And, and you freak out and maybe kill everybody in the boat. I hate him. Can I make him stop? I hate him. You killed everybody in the boat. It's 26 dead people at the end of the ride. You killed them with a Swiss army knife. Throwing them to death. And, and what's that going to happen? You're going to go to prison. You gotta go. I can hear this. What are you in here for? Murder! I killed 26 people on a Disney ride. What are you in here for? Murder! I killed 26 people on a Disney ride. Hey, small world, huh? I'm going to start with God's Thank you, folks.